Hi, let's discuss conflicts in CLR parsing. I already discussed conflicts in SLR1 parsing and LR0 parsing. There are two types of conflict. One is shift reduce conflict, another is reduce reduce conflict. Here are also same two types of conflict, shift reduce conflict and reduce reduce conflict. If parser cannot decide between shift and reduce, then that is a shift reduce conflict. Suppose one set contains two LR1 item A derive alpha dot A beta look ahead is B, B derive gamma dot look ahead is A. This is a reduction as dot is at the end and where we will write, we will write in the look ahead symbol. Look ahead symbol is A, we will write this reduction in A column and there is a dot before A. So from this state by A, it will go to another state. So for A, there is also a shift. This is a SR conflict. If shift terminal intersection reduction look ahead symbol is not equal to 5, then SR conflict present in CLR1 or LR1. In SLR1 parsing, there will be shift reduce conflict. If fall of LHS side variable intersection, this shift variable is not equal to 5, then there is a SR conflict. In SLR1, looker symbol are not present. We are writing reduction in fall of LHS side variable. In LR0, if one state contain one shift plus one reduction, then that is SR conflict. Next, reduce reduce conflict. If one parser is confused between more than one reduction, then that is a reduce reduce conflict. Let one state contain two LR1 item. Both items are reduction as dot is at the end. And we'll write this reduction in A column as A is the look ahead. We'll also write this reduction in A column as A is the look ahead. If one state contain more than one reduction and their look ahead is common, then it is a reduced reduce conflict for CLR1. If look ahead symbol intersection is not equal to 5, then it is a RR conflict present in LR1. In SLR parsing, I will check whether this is RR conflict or not. You need to find fall of A, fall of B and if their intersection is not equal to 5, then this is a RR conflict for SLR1. And for LR0, if one state contain two reduction, that will be RR conflict. The grammar will be LR1 or CLR1 if and only if it is free from shift reduce conflict and reduce reduce conflict. In previous lecture, I discussed one example with the LR1 automata and LR1 parsing table. If parsing table is free from multiple entry, then the grammar is LR1. So now rather than creating the parsing table, what we will do from the partial LR1 automata, we will identify whether there is conflict present or not. If conflict present, we will stop and we will declare the grammar is not CLR. Let's see one example. S derive A A or B B, A derive A A or B, B derive B or A. Now initial state will contain the augmented production that S dash derive dot S and local head will be dollar. Now dot symbol is before S, so you need to add closure of it and there local head will be dollar. As after S nothing is there, so first of dollar will be dollar. We will add the S production S derived dot A A look ahead is dollar S derived dot B B look ahead is dollar. There is a dot before A so we will add the A production A derived A A look ahead will be A. We will take first of these two first of A and dollar first of A will be A so look ahead will be A and there is another production of A A derived dot B look ahead will be A. And we'll assign one state name I0. From I0 by S, it will go to another state for LR1 item will be S dash derived S dot dollar. This is a acceptance. Then by A, it will go to another state for LR1 item will be S derived A dot A and look ahead will be dollar as dollar was here. And we'll assign state name I2. Then from I0 by B, it will go to another state where LR1 item will be S derive B dot B, look ahead will be dollar. Then A derive B dot look ahead will be A. 
and there is a dot before variable b so i'll add the b production b derive dot b look ahead will be dollar as due to this we are adding this production and after b nothing is present so first of epsilon and dollar will be dollar then we'll add b derive dot a look ahead will be dollar and we'll assign one state name i3 now just see a reduction is present here this is a reduction it will be reduction number 4 r4 whenever there is a reduction present there is a chances of conflict now just check is any other reduction present no this is just one reduction so rr conflict is not possible let's check for sr conflict so for checking sr conflict you need to check look ahead symbol of this look ahead symbol is a and is there any shift on a yes there is a shift on a so a intersection a will be a there is a sr conflict so at i3 state there is a sr conflict for terminal a we'll write reduction on a column plus we'll write shift in a column so there is a shift reduce conflict for clr1 the grammar is not lr1 or clr let's check is this slr or not for slr you need to check fall of this what will be fall of a fall of a will be terminal a so terminal a intersection shift a that will be a so there is sr conflict present for both lr0 and slr so the grammar is not lr1 the grammar is not slr1 and the grammar is not lr0 let's check whether this is ll1 or not so first of a a first of a a will be a or b then first of this will be b so both intersection will be b this is not ll1 as both intersection is not equal to 5 this grammar is neither ll1 nor lr it is not lr0 not slr not clr1 if in exam this grammar is given and it is asking whether this is lr0 or slr1 or clr1 or not then you can say it is not an lr or not ll1 as this is a ambiguous grammar for lr grammar should be free from ambiguity if one grammar contain ambiguity then this is not ll1 or not lr just take a input string b a from s you can derive a a then from a you can derive b then from s you can derive b b then from b you can derive a for b a more than one partial possible so the grammar is ambiguous and ambiguous grammar cannot be ll1 or lr in next lecture i will discuss some more example if this lecture is helpful for you please like and subscribe thank you